These films got one very important thing wrong, and it has nothing to do with Miles Morales. You guys remember the death of Gwen Stacy? This was arguably the most important moment in Spider-Man's life since the death of Uncle Ben. The one person that Spider-Man is supposed to protect, he couldn't save. Meanwhile, in a universe where Peter Parker is not Spider-Man, it's Gwen Stacy that's bitten by the radioactive spider, and her best friend and classmate Peter Parker wants to be just like her. Spider-Gwen, or Ghost Spider, whatever you want to call her, then has to battle the lizard, and Peter Parker dies as a result. Again, this is like, this is pretty heavy stuff. And the Spider-Verse comic happened, and we got to see this interaction. I'm gonna move out of frame here, and I want you guys to soak in this moment. All right, take a look at this. Look at that. That right there, that's what we were missing. The relationship between Ghost Spider and Spider-Man isn't romantic in any way. Like, look at this middle panel. It's, it's so sweet. It's such a relief. And as great as they are, neither of the Spider-Verse films had this kind of interaction. And that's why I think that